Hi, my name is Amber Hines. I'm the CEO of Equalize Digital, and I'm going to walk you through some of the features for our Accessibility Checker plugin for WordPress. All right, so we are here in the WordPress admin. I have a page that has been built out in the block editor. And if I scroll down below the content, I can see a accessibility checker report. I can see right here that this has 81% uh, pass test for the tests that we've checked. There are 12 errors, 10 contrast errors, nine warnings, and nothing has been ignored or dismissed. If I click over on the detail tab, I can then get a look at there's 10 insufficient color contrast, seven improper use of link, two image missing alternative text, two ambiguous anchor text, one incorrect heading order, six things with ARIA hidden, two images alternative with empty alternative text, and one low quality alternative text on this page. Now, if I'm a content editor, I can expand these and go through them. I can maybe start at the bottom with this warning of one, and I can see that um, there's an image. It shows the affected code. It actually shows me a little thumbnail of the image, and then I could choose to go work on that image. Um, so for example, this is flagging because the alt is image of student. If I'm not sure what low quality alternative text means, I could click on the eye icon that is next to that title and that would link over to documentation on the Equalize website. If I know where this image is, I could scroll up in the page and find it. Oh, I scroll up and here's my gallery. If I click on the image, indeed, I could see that. So I could say, okay, this is, let's give a better alternative text for this. I've typed out young female Asian student working on laptop in class, because this is a much more descriptive alternative text that describes the image um, rather than just saying image of student. We're on a college website. Almost every image is an image of student. So I've entered that in. I could then move on to my next one and I can see, oh, look, both of these images are actually missing. They have image alt empty alternative text. I could move through those and go find those images and then correct them. Let's see, this is a picture of Fort Collins, Colorado. So I'm just gonna say Fort Collins, Colorado from the sky. Uh, maybe there'd be a better drone photo or something. But anyway, so you'd see what I do that. I could work through all of these issues. If I hit update, then you'll notice that it will rescan my page. Uh, all the scans run on the server. So there's no API calls, no fee or API cost every time you are running a scan. So once it rescans, then you'll see this section reloads. And now I can see that low quality um, image alternative text went away. I also now only have one image with empty because I've fixed those two. And I could go through and I could fix all of these. But let's say I get to something like there's six aria hidden. I expand this and I can see social media links. Uh, they have little icons for Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, and LinkedIn. And these are all hidden. This is a warning. This particular warning means, hey, this is hidden from screen readers. Is this correct or not? And if I scroll up in my page, boy, I don't see those. So what I'm going to do is I can use this view on page link. If I click view on page, it will load the front end of the website and it will jump me down to that section. It'll find it on the page and it highlights it. So now I can see, oh, this is where the icon is. It's in my footer, it's not actually in my page. So if my footer was built um, with widgets or something else, I could go to that section to fix it. But I'm actually gonna just take a look at the code right here and I'm inspecting this element what I wanna know is this, this SVG, the icon is hidden, but is there any text that explains to someone that this link goes to LinkedIn? And indeed I see that there's text here that goes to LinkedIn. So it's actually correct for this to be hidden. 
Now, this is an example when I might use the ignore feature. I can ignore right here on this page. I could click ignore and I can say um, screen reader text is present as my comment. I can also ignore without a comment, but a comment helps other people know. I can see, okay, I was the one who ignored it. And this would make it in my summary it would remove that warning and it would show that there's one ignored item. But boy, I know from looking on the front end of the website that this is on every page. Well, in Accessibility Checker Pro, we have an open issues view. If you go to open issues, you can see all of the issues across your entire site. Um, this particular site doesn't have a lot. It's a uh, faked site, but I'll give you a peek. Uh, just a second and what this would look like on a site that has a lot of content and not just two pages. This only has two pages. Um, but we also have the fast track view. So I could go to fast track. And I could find, let's see where we have the ARIA hidden. So these are one of those SVGs. If I review, it's ARIA hidden. I can compare, we're working on, we're gonna get an image of these here soon. Um, and I could actually hit a global ignore. And what that would do is that would say, I know that this SVG is correctly hidden. So I'm gonna ignore it on all of the pages of my entire site. So once I do that, then if I were to go back here and I were to refresh, we should see that we have two ignored items. So now we have two ignored items and I don't have to do it on every individual page. I can actually do it on a, a global site-wide basis. So if you're installing this on a website for a first time, we always recommend coming to the Open Issues tab. I'll show you a peek now. This is an old copy of one of our websites uh, that we had built for ourselves long before we knew about accessibility. We installed this plugin and you can see we're getting 7,395 links that open in a new window or tab warnings. There's um, 677 instances of incorrect headings. So, there's kind of a larger number, and this might give you a feel for what it's like on a larger website and however many things might have issues. We always recommend if you have Accessibility Checker Pro to come here, you can really dive into issues better and get a feel for where to find them. So for example, if I were to just go into, let's look at, let's say I wanted to find all of the links with ambiguous text. I click on this, I can see there's 39 of them. So once what this does is it takes me to a report that shows the detail view just for those 39. I can see there's 39 ambiguous anchor text errors. There's an explanation that explains what it is and it says how to fix it to resolve this error, change the link text to be less generic so that it has meaning if heard on its own. There's a link to more detailed documentation. And then I can scroll down and I can see exactly where this exists. So on post title CSU lecture, WordPress development in 43 minutes, I can see that it's a post. This is the issue. This is the specific link. And I can see, look, it's the, the word here has been linked. So I could Again, I could view it and that would take me to the front end and it would highlight it. I could edit it, which would take me to the edit page so I could then edit or I can click ignore um, if I wanted to ignore just for this one instance. But again, of course, I could go to the fast track and I could add a global ignore there. Another feature that we recently added is the ability to go through a website completely on the front end. So you'll notice when you're logged in, if you have Accessibility Checker, either the free or the pro version installed, there is a button. Uh, it For a screen reader user, it's pretty high up in the DOM, uh, but it is for a sighted person in the bottom right-hand corner. If I click this, this will open our Accessibility Checker report and it will show the issues that exist 
on the page and we can actually toggle through them on this specific page. And so I can, I can jump right through every issue that exists. Here's an image without alternative text. Here is an icon up in the header where it is a link, even though it's functioning as a button. Uh, here's something that has an incorrect heading level. It's not following the correct heading structure of the page and so on. And so we can move through in this visual way and start to see the issues that exist on the page. I hope you found this quick walkthrough helpful. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. If you're using the free version of the plugin, you can contact us on the wordpress.org support forum. Or if you have a paid version of the plugin, you get personalized email support and you can contact us via your plugin dashboard. Thanks so much and happy accessibility testing.